Super Tony Award winner. Laura, should be Benanti, but it's pronounced Benanti. Because I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Work it. Okay, um, doing a pilot right now, playing a uh, Playboy bunny, hence the amazing figure. And the oh, see-through were... A little bit sheer. What? Just for Playbill. Uh, part two, hairstyle is because it's raining out. Describe. Fro. Italian fro. Hey, just a little pubes, just right on the top of the head. <laughs> hey. Now, speaking of amazing hairstyles, can we discuss your week for the wedding singer? Yes, the one that it was like, we're just going to mop that up. You know what else we can use this for? Laura's wig. Hey. <laughs> Literally, it's the only wig that makes someone look 50 to 51 years old. Yeah, it was amazing. I, I think Ben Bradley said that I looked like, um, who's the woman from Mad About You who's like an amazing actress? Doris Roberts? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Hunt? <laughs> Helen Hunt. But yeah. she's, uh, she's beautiful. I was like, phew, because I, I have way worse things than Helen Hunt than Bradley that I think um, I look like. Maybe he meant, um, wait. Maybe meant Linda Hunt. <laughs> Anybody? Where was I? All right, that's part of it. Okay, first of all, Laura's an amazing performer, uh, doing her act at Feinstein's. With, they have delicious desserts there. Tell me when your act is at Feinstein's. Um, Sunday evening, May first and May twenty second. Are it's you singing any fun. Broadway standards? I'm singing tonight? Broadway standards from shows that I've done, okay. and I'm telling funny, funny stories. I have a poster of me with my actual fro from when I was a kid, uh. um, that I show, and it's horrifying. Um, and just, and, and a medley, and a fun medley of um, songs that I would never Is your sexy sing. husband going to make an appearance? He'll probably be in the audience. He probably won't sing. Stephen Pasquale, starring at the Public Theater. Oh, so good. So, and Rush Me. So good. And I'm going to go see it. Tony Kushner show. Yeah. Anywho, okay, two things we have to discuss. The etymology of my favorite moment in Gypsy. I mean, one of my favorite moments. Uh, oh, and the most story. bizarre moment. So, Laura Benanti was the cow, mm -hmm. and I have, I have a moo cow. And discuss how the amazing line reading came to be. Well, actually, because they were doing that number over and over and over again, and all I have to say is moo 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 moo. So they had, by like the ninth time, I was doing it properly at first, and then by the ninth time, I was like moo 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 moo, and then I was like, oh, but, that's funny. <laughs> but did you know you were the mooer? So you actually yeah. knew you were going to be doing. It. No, I knew I was going to be doing it. They wanted my voice to set because I wasn't actually in the cow. Um, right, you were just off stage. Not to like, where people are like, oh my God, she wasn't on the cow. Um, but yeah, I was off stage with my face into like a dusty old curtain going, mm -hmm. um, but I, by the time I was so exhausted that I was phoning it in, I was like, yes, that's totally what she would be <laughs> Because doing. she has literally no stage presence. She has no stage presence <laughs> at all. She's like the, the back end of a cow with her face in someone's behind. And... <laughs> I just love that she has really genuinely no talent. <laughs> and, and But then throws in at the end, like her little spin on it, like a hey. Because it goes up, because the final yeah. move goes. Moo, moo, moo. Because it literally has a resolution. Yeah, so sass. if you have not that's heard her it. Sass. <laughs> that's her that's sass. That's her sass. If you've not heard it, we're going to recreate it. <clears throat> okay. I'll be thinking to June. Six, I seven. I have a new cow, a moo cow, a true cow named Caroline. Moo, 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 moo. She's an extra special friend of mine. Moo, 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 moo. moo. Like everything about her fine. Ma -ma -ma -ma. <laughs> Sassy at the end. Just throwing it's it the in end there. Of the phrase, but get the ma -ma -ma -ma. Okay, it doesn't even move. It's ma -ma -ma. Yeah, ma -ma -ma -ma. <laughs> Like she can't even get the ooh sound. That's four. too much. Ma -ma -ma -ma. Ma -ma -ma -ma. <laughs> it's like one it's horrible one slide. Like a flat line. Okay, just, <laughs> hey, so then just be. So Laura's done, we've done so many benefits together, mm -hmm. and really the through line seems to be. Um, what we hate about singers. Yep. Now, <laughs> so inappropriate. Now, why do we have so much dislike? You know, I have it towards other voice know. majors at Oberlin with the blue eyeshadow. Like, yes. where, where do you where do you get your bad images from? I can't say. I can't tell you. Okay. Not allowed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's enough said. I don't want hate mail. Okay, but suffice it to say, we, there's so many tricks. So what we've done is we've taken this one phrase from Bill, and together we've sort of come up with everything that we hate about, um, especially Sopranos. I, I know, not to like call out my peeps, but there is a lot of horrible like back phrasing and hootiness and scooping and all things I'm sure that I am um, have done in my time. In but, the past. Yeah. So in this one phrase, in this one phrase from Bill, we're going to do. I'm just going to describe it all. Inappropriate British pronunciation, mm -hmm. which I just heard this morning on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why mid-Atlantic accents. When did that come to be? Well, no, I feel like especially in the 50s and 60s, if you watch those movie musicals, everyone a little bit talks like, hello, <laughs> darling, mother said. You know, so for me, growing up and watching those, I was like, okay, that's what you do. That's how you perform. Yeah, so I'd be like, mom, I want to go to the mall. And then I would act and I'd be like, I just think that you should come with me to the... So that <laughs> happens. So middle like, then it's just inappropriate back phrasing. It's like, I don't know why I was having his back phrase, mm -hmm. but don't ruin the song. So bad back phrasing, that's coming yep. up. Then 
Then inappropriate use of straight tone and vibrato. Yeah. Don't vibrato. What we do is what she's gonna do is she's gonna vibrato, vibrato. Then the end of the phrase is gonna straight tone. The part where it should be vibrato right. will be straight tone. And too much slack jaw. Just trying to keep it way too open. Keep the larynx oh. relaxed. Yeah. Too like much. we we don't want to see you actually using your technique. On no, stage. we don't want to see. You. Okay. <laughs> then going for a low note, but because I can't hit it. I'm gonna speak it, feigning I'm acting. Yep. That speaking, feigning I'm acting makes me so crazy. Me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then um, there's an amazing moment. I love him um, uh, because he's, I don't know, and it's an amazing acting moment. But so many singers are like, what do you mean? The music is written to say it's three eighth notes. Why would I possibly? The one time you should back phrase. Right. You don't. The music says. I know the music says, but if you're actually performing, you're not an oboe. Okay. <laughs> I wish I was an oboe. <laughs> okay. And then finally at the end, just open vowel, open vowel, but just open vowel, and then inappropriate extra diction, which makes extra diction makes me crazy. Now mm -hmm. I have terrible diction, but the point is, I don't want to be aware of your diction lessons because no. I don't believe you're a character anymore. I believe right. you're in your studio with your teacher. Right. Saying the last consonant must be hit because in the back row, the, the song is called Bill. I don't need to hear the L at the end. No, you don't. I'm so angry. And too long. And way, 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 way too long. <laughs> Over enunciation and then physical action to go with it. <laughs> to button it. To button Okay, so you may need to rewind the video just to hear the whole outline again, but here we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I can't explain his brain. I can't explain. Back phrase. It's surely not his brain that makes me. I love him because he's I don't know. Be. That's the thing too. Always blaming the pianist. When you make a mistake, why am I being blamed? Because he's just And then again glaring. <laughs> again glaring. You, you ruined the button. What do you ruin the Can button? Can I do it again? And <laughs> that then there's too. that. This is what I also love when people apologize before their performance. I just I'm I just want to let you know I'm okay, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep. I haven't I have allergies. I have a cold. I've had something emotionally difficult happen to me today. I've never sung this song in an audition before. I was late. I was stuck in the rain. My cab broke down. How do you know all these? You're not even on the them. table. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I haven't said them. But I do like to apologize before my performances. And then immediately following. I like to blame it on the PS. <laughs> it's a bookend. Yeah, it's a bookend. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for seeing me, but I was, you know, running really late, blah blah blah. And then at the end, it's just the glare. And then overly smiley to them. And, and then I'm maybe back to you. We're out. <laughs>